So my uh, big baby, Jules, she's 14, came into Mama's workroom today. Usually I don't let her in here, but you know, she is always at Mommy's side. Alrighty guys, hi, it's Deborah from Time is Jewel by Deborah. Today we have another thread up, 15 piece, Mechanicsburg jewelry. This one feels very light, very, very light. We have had some really great boxes out of this batch. I'm not sure the date on this. I have them all over and I stack them on top. So let's see. December 27th. We're back to that one. All right. This is what it looks like. And you get it. Lots of air pillows on this one. All right. Last time we got a ton of earrings. So let's see what we got. Take it out. Oh, that's pretty. Bracelet. That looks like a bracelet. Ooh, those are pretty earrings. I like those. Another pair of earrings. More and more earrings. A necklace. Those are pretty earrings. Wow, lots of earrings. Ooh, this is promising. And then we got another ring. That's pretty. Necklace. Necklace and necklace. All right, I'm going to take everything out and then we'll go over it. I'll be right back. All right, so I have everything laid out. And this one is going to be, there's a lot of items in here that are broken or missing stones. So I have contacted Thread Up about these items because, you know, out of 15 pieces, there should not be so many that are broken and mismatched. So, we will get started and I'll let you know. We will be doing some testing with the Presidium. We did get some sterling silver. I'm going to bring you guys down. All right. So, all right. I hope you guys all love that little picture of my jewels. Yeah, she's 14 and she is my baby. She has always been a mama's dog. And every day she sits outside my workroom and lays there. So today I let her in since I wasn't doing clothing because <laughs> we don't want dog hair all over everything. All right. So yeah, she's Jules, my Weimaraner. All right, let's get into the jewelry. So hmm, what should we start with first? Let's go with these. These are gorgeous. These are Napier signed earrings, faux pearl with rhinestones. They are set but they look like they have the um, prongs, but they're not. They're actually down. The prong is more just for look. Faux pearl. Let me get you a measurement on these. These are really pretty. These measure in at an inch. And that is what the back looks like. Beautiful. Let's see if I can get the backing back on these. These are really pretty. Classic style. I absolutely love these. So let's do the Napier dangle earrings. Let's do 10. These are really nice. All right. Next one. I knew what this was as soon as I saw them. These are really pretty. They're silver tone. And they are high set right here. And the stone, as you can see, looks like it is a labradorite. And it's not just a labradorite. This is a doublet. And what they do is they take a slice of the shell, like from Mother of Pearl, and they cap it with a glass. And it makes it a stone. So this is called a doublet. <clears throat> a lot of the times you will see triplets which are opals and um, they can be anything but with opals it's famous especially to they like if the blue opals or the Australian opals they will put a black underneath and then a clear coating over the top and it can be anywhere from glass 
to a different material. But these we're going to test, and I believe they are glass. Let me move you up. Okay. So let's test them and see what they made this doublet out of. All right. So they're not even showing up as glass. So this could be a resin. Move you back down. Sorry about that. But they are absolutely gorgeous. And if you guys can see that coloration in there, they're beautiful. And they're pretty large. These measure in at just under a half of an inch. Absolutely stunning earrings. So for these silver tone doublet earrings, let's do those for 10. They're gorgeous. All right. We got a lot of earrings in this one. All right, then we've got Bella Brie plastic kite earrings. These are really interesting. I love the dangle on them. And this is a yellowish uh, plastic that's kind of faceted. You can see the texture. And then it looks like it has gold flakes in there. Isn't that neat? And it's on a gold tone bar. It measures in at a total drop of three inches. These are fun. Bella, B-E-L-L-A, Brie, B-R-I. So for these, let's do those for six. Aren't they pretty? All right. Then we've got these really pretty filigree gold tone earrings. And they're more of a muted gold tone. I would, I would call them an antique gold tone. And it's not the tree of life. I'm not sure exactly what you would call this. If you have an idea what design you would call that, leave me a message in the, in the comments and let me know what you think it is. They're really pretty. They're super light. They're just over one and a half inches. Aren't they beautiful? Let's do those for six. All right. Then we've got this pair of earrings. <clears throat> beautiful, right? And it looks like all the stones are there, but they are not. Right here, there is a broken stone. You can see the coloration, the foil, as they call it, behind the stone. So these are broken. What I've done is I've contacted Thread Up because there are so many damaged items in here. So for right now, I'm waiting to hear back from them what they're going to do, if they're going to send me a replacement, if they're going to refund me. So I will bring these back in a, another video. And if I don't, you know, if they don't replace them, then what I will do is put these into a rhinestone lot. So, what a sad, sad thing. Because they are beautiful. So, I'm waiting to hear back from that. All right. Let's see. Let's do a ring. This is gorgeous. This is called the Carnelian Glass. And it's faceted around. It's an elongated oval. Gold tone. This is an Avon ring. She measures in at a US 7. It is really pretty. See the side there? I love that. Really beautiful faceted glass. And I love this. I think it is a classic Avon style. So for this one, let's do 10. All right, let's stick with the rings. This is, let me get you the size here, just under a six. But look at this. This is sterling silver. And we're going to test the stone. It is just beautiful. It looks like an amethyst, but I am not sure because of the color. It could be heat treated to get this color. So let's go ahead and get Pressy and see what Miss Pressy has to think. All right. Pull you up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to take the pointer here. Hold on to the metal, and we are going to test the stone. All right. It is coming up as amethyst. Beautiful. Look at that purple color. Wow. 
And this one I said was just under a six. This is just fantastic. Let's do the amethyst ring for 18. That's gorgeous. All right. Next up, let's see. Let's do this one. I thought this was interesting. Let me straighten you guys back out. All right. This is by Madewell. It has the hang tag with the famous M right there. And it's a antique gold tone. And I love this link. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful link. And then it has a movable placard that has nothing on it. But it is really pretty. And this is the extender here in a different type of chain. Gorgeous. Let me get you a measurement on her. I call it the spinning placard necklace. And it is more of a brassy gold tone it does have a lobster claw clasp and she measures in at 13 inches very nice 13 inch wearable length so for this made well it's so unique let's do her for 12. all right then we got this beautiful sterling silver necklace and this also has earrings beautiful it is marked 925 right there and has been tested and then it has stones which look to be quartz crystal peridot and amethyst and here are the earrings let me get you a measurement on all these and then we'll do the testing these are also marked sterling they obviously are a pair these measure in at one and a quarter inch. And let me get you a measurement on the necklace. It is pretty short. That measures in at a wearable just under an eight inch. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna bring Cressy back over. And what I'm gonna do is we will try to get these little stones. <laughs> We're going to do this one first, the purple if we can, and we're going to take and hold on to the metal, push that in, there we go, amethyst on the purple. Now green will not, Shaperdo does not show on here, but I will show you when you push it on, it will go up, but Peridot is not one of the stones that are listed. If I can get that, there we go. And then this one is clear. I believe it's a quartz. Let's see. All right. Yes. So these are absolutely beautiful, and I have tested them. They are sterling silver. And here's the earrings. Lovely. So I'm going to sell these as a set. They're just fantastic. <clears throat> let's do these for 40 all right let's see <clears throat> excuse me let's go with this beautiful right j crew yes missing a stone of course it is can you guys spot where it is it's right there and it's just so sad because what a lovely piece i love this chain and I absolutely love this, but missing a stone. And it's okay if we're missing a stone once in a while, but this one, like I said, a lot of broken items, missing stones. Ugh, so frustrating. So this one I'm going to hold until I hear what they are going to say. And if they don't want me to send it back or anything, then I will put this into a rhinestone lot. So sad. All right. Then, let's see, let's go with this. This is fantastic. This is Stella and Dot. And Stella and Dot uses mixed materials. So they can use semi-precious stones. And they also use um, glass. Oh, look at that, I got a knot here. Let me see if I can get that unknotted. 
before I make a bigger mess. Okay, so beautiful gold tone chain. Look at that. Isn't she lovely? I love this clasp. It's just an S hook. And what's nice about it is you can hook it anywhere. So you can wear it as a long length or you can shorten it. Get you a measurement on her. This is just beautiful. So the maximum wearable is 17 on this, but it can be shortened. And again, we're going to pull out Pressy. This is beautiful. This is a, the smooth size. This is two-sided. Flip it over, and it is faceted. What looks like a smoky quartz, but it is not. So let me get Pressy. Bring this up. Beautiful. We are going to hold it this way. And we're going to test her. And she is in the glass. All right. So now we're going to go to this side. This is the smooth, beautiful green. This is a mint green. It is fantastic. So I'm going to take it and test it. And it shoots right up, up into the jade, jadeite absolutely gorgeous so that's what i meant when i said mixed materials so jadeite on this side glass on here that looks like a smoky quartz beautiful chain so for the stella and dot let's do her for 25. all right then we got a gold tone circle very small uh, bracelet cuff it would fit about, I would say, right about the middle. So about six and a quarter. You can make it larger. It's in a really nice condition. It's pretty large. She measures in at one inch. That's really pretty. I like the gold tone circles. So I couldn't find a maker's mark on these. So let's do eight on her. All right, then we got, what else here? Oh, a new with the tag, Anthropology. Here's the, the tag here. And here is their little Hallmark tag. This is Serafina for Anthropology. Beautiful bracelet. It's, it's, um... Stretchy, I, I would replace the stretch on this. They are black and antique gold tone and white discs. Beautiful, brand new, but the stretch, I would, I'm a little leery about the kind of material that they use, so this would need to be restrung. So for that reason, let's do six on that. All right, this is one of the, biggest bummers of this whole thing look at this fantastic tiger's eye bracelet colorized gorgeous right stretch heavy stretch but look broken a big broken piece of the tiger's eye sad lovely you know this could be taken apart and used to make something else or someone could try to fix this with a uh, material that I'm not sure <laughs> but it could be fixed so this is another piece that I am waiting on thread up to let me know what they want me to do about it and and it's just such a shame so that one is not for sale as of right now either all right and then my last two issues were I got these earrings together they're not matches they're not even supposed to be together. This one here, let me flip her around, is a Betsy Johnson. She is marked, but these came in pairs of two, in a pair. So they sent me one. Now I can sell it as a onesie earring, but again, I'm waiting to see what they're going to do on this. So that is two and a half super cute with the bird and the cross and the heart okay and the other one is also a Betsy Johnson with that little camera look at that isn't that adorable but again this is supposed to be 
a pair and it's not it's a single so I don't know what they want me to do <laughs> with these so so as of right now I'm not gonna sell them but if I do hear back from them uh, before this taping goes up then I will let you guys know in the comments so yeah a little disappointed broken broken missing one missing one broken um, yeah sad but there are some beautiful pieces and you know it is to be expected that you will occasionally get something that is broken or missing a stone and I don't have a problem if it's one item but out of 15 pieces one two three four five are wrong so that's a pretty big uh, error on their part so still lovely I'll still be buying them not a problem <laughs> So let me know in the comments how you guys feel about uh, so many items being broken. And um, let me know what your favorite pieces are. I have to say I love this Stella and Dot. Love it. And I love the ring. Isn't she beautiful? And then the mixed gemstone sterling silver earrings and necklace set. All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you all being here. You guys be well. Take care of yourselves. And if you like this kind of content, hit that thumbs up and please subscribe down there. You guys have a great one. Bye.